on the road again and I am not going to distract Andy from driving because even though that's a straightaway, we are on a windy mountain road. We just left the Rocky Bluff campground. It's been a nice three nights there. and In Pisgah National Forest, yes. And if you saw the prior video about it maybe being haunted or why it was totally deserted, we did get company. The Boy Scout showed up about 9 o'clock, 8.30, 9 o'clock on Friday night and then some other folks came in. Uh, so that was nice. And now we are just cruising on up to Damascus to visit with a friend. And we're going to stop in Irwin on the way, hitting all the trail towns from the AT. So this is a beautiful view. And as I'm looking at all these mountains, I'm wondering which ones I walked over a couple years ago. Lovely little creek along here. cyclists that we just passed, motorcycles. Oh, nope, there's a few more. We are coming into Irwin, Tennessee. I'm gonna try to stop at a hardware store, maybe find some lunch, and then continue on the road to Damascus. All right, we made it to Damascus. That's the little uh, miniature shelter there that's here in the town park, and that's the library, and our van is over there. Unfortunately, we discovered some damage on the van that I think I did myself when we were at Andy's parents. I tangled with the crepe myrtle. Apparently the crepe myrtle won and I didn't realize it. <laughs> we are heading through the town park. I'm gonna walk down the main street and take ourselves over to the Broken Fiddle Hostel and see our friend Jackie. Who, if you're a fan of hikers, you might know her as Jackie outside. So this is downtown Damascus and just down the road there is a yellow building called the Yellow Deli. And there's some new places since I was here. Right over there is the ATC building. I'm not sure what Waters is and Dollar General looks a little spruced up. All right, then along this side, there's some outfitters and there's a cool mural here for Trail Town USA. Damascus is one of the first official AT trail, down, trail towns. What do you think so far? So far, it's a pretty neat place. What's the population here? Uh, it's like 990 something. Yeah, just under a thousand. Just under a thousand. Pretty small town. I thought you said it was like 500 something. Yeah. Yeah, you said that's what it was in, uh, in Hot Springs. In Hot Springs, okay. I thought we got those mixed up. Anyway, hmm, this building has gone under. Probably some COVID casualties, but up here's an outfitter that I enjoyed when I was in town. We might just stick our heads in there and check it out. Of course, where's Andy? Where's Andy? Is he in there? So there's a couple places on the trail where hikers, hikers can throw their old boots. And this tree is one of them. These are all shoes that have been worn for several hundred miles and time to be replaced. And sometimes a hiker is just giving up and going home. So do you think your food is safe in one of these little bear canisters? Check that out. Somebody had a good old time getting a snag out of that one. Well, good morning, Damascus. We just had a nice evening at the Broken Fiddle. It's pretty slow there right now. We're kind of between hiker seasons. And Nobos have gone north quite a while ago. Flip floppers have passed through and the Sobos haven't quite arrived yet. So it was just us and the staff hanging out with Dirt Nap, our friend Jackie, and her boyfriend Treehouse. He runs the place. So that was cool. We had a nice evening, great dinner that Jackie made for us. Some shrimp tacos. She's a good cook, for sure. We are walking back through Damascus, heading back over to the library where we parked our bikes, and we're gonna, I've parked our van, and we're gonna pick up our bikes, and Jackie's gonna give us a ride up to the top of the Virginia Creeper Trail so we can take a nice long ride today. It's about 17 miles back into town and it's gonna be a gorgeous day for a ride. So we're pretty excited about that. It's the first time this trip that we'll have our bikes out of the van. There's a lot of cool little murals here in Damascus. This one is just right off the main street. We've seen a few on the sides of houses and other buildings, but it's a fun little town to walk around and just see all the artwork. 
is a new little inn in town that just opened up. Looks like a pretty modern building and Jackie was showing us photos of the inside and she said she watched it be built. It's a boutique, it only has 13 rooms. They're very nice, they all have a uh, kitchen in them. Do they have washer and dryer in the room too? I don't think she said anything about that, I'm not Yeah, sure. but a kitchen with a full oven and everything, so pretty cool. If you're looking for a place to stay for a while here in Damascus. And then this is the new AT building for the ATC, the Appalachian Trail Conservancy. We're just walking up to our van and Andy said, Shh, stop, there's something under the van. Looks like a tiny little bunny right there. I'm gonna go walk up and see if I'm right. Is that fair to walk up? I should warn him that there's a dog coming. Well, Jackie just dropped us off here at White Top Mountain at the start of the Virginia Creeper Trail. So we are ready to ride. She's got Forrest and she's gonna take him out with her dog Mason and do a little hiking today. Well, we, uh, well, we uh, ride about 17 miles and top of the hill here it's beautiful it's beautiful ride up in the car really uh enjoyed it and found some stealth spots we can camp out tonight if we want to but yeah we're gonna get on our bikes and hit the trail there are shuttles running from damascus like every 45 minutes bringing bikes up here and it's a monday so it's kind of slow day but jackie said in the busy season they run a shuttles from her outfitter every 45 minutes 16 people every day and since i had my bike rack Last year, I'm a little wary about my helmet fit, so I'm trying to make sure that's all good before I get going. I want to be safe. Well, so far, so good. We really just got started, and that's downhill, and I think it might be all downhill. I don't know, Andy, is it going to be all downhill? It's all downhill from here. <laughs> and he's being very patient with me because I feel like a little kid learning to ride a bike again. It's been a long time since I've been on my bike, but I've got a new bike. Got to get used to that, and... uh yeah, maybe kind of slow going, but we'll do it. Look how beautiful that is. There's a Christmas tree farm over there. I just came from that direction. When Dad's side of riding downhill, <laughs> you go so fast, it's hard to catch these views. They're beautiful. We just crossed a bridge a little ways down that way and as I was crossing it I'm like I swear I walked across this bridge the other direction and sure enough we are on the stretch of the creeper that coincides with the AT. There's a little white blaze up there next to Andy and also the creeper sign. So I'm having fun reliving my through hike. Still kind of want to do it again someday. Start from the beginning and just hike straight north. Do a little bit different. We just stopped for a nice little lunch at the Hellbenders Cafe back there behind me. We had corn dogs, and they were not any corn dog. They were fresh, homemade corn dogs. You don't get those very often. I'm sure hit the spot and also had some great fries and iced tea. So we got a little bit more fuel ready to go the rest of the way down to Damascus. And we're having a really good time. I'm thoroughly enjoying this. I got my bike feet back underneath me, my wheels, I guess you might want to say. I was really a little anxious at the beginning since I haven't ridden in so long and I'm just coming off a bike accident a year ago, which really shook me up. And uh, so yeah, I'm really happy to be back on a bike and just enjoying the wind in my hair, enjoying the ride, the view and all of that. So it's been a really good day so far.